Good morning everyone, it's Bruce with an aerial viewpoint and this is day 16 of the Ballville Dam removal and each day we come down here there's less and less of the dam re remaining Get a little tiny piece on the right here and then they are actually down to the bottom of it right there where this excavator is working right in between the two is where the old floodgates were and that's a giant chunk of concrete but they are chipping away at it and then on the left side over here used to be where they had cut the notch and they're a good third of the way or even more across the river now all the way down to the bottom so the slowly taking most of that dam away and we're letting the water flow back to a natural flow this is a drought period so we definitely have low water you can see the little channel that it's cutting through all that silt and mud Those hydraulic hammers are cutting away little by little. We'll head upstream just to here to look at this channel of water cutting through. That's all the water that's coming down the river right now. So it's definitely a dry period. haven't seen too many good treasures around just a lot of tires now we'll come back over here to this side of the dam you can see what's left of the floodgate It's a little bit cooler today, so I see one guy's got his door wide open, so it must be a lot nicer to work today. And this area here is just about getting down. We'll flip to the other side. This is probably the biggest chunk of dam that's sitting here left, and they are chipping right away at it. I see a lot of rebar getting in their way. I imagine they'll have to have a guy come down with the cutters and try to cut a lot of that away. It is a beautiful day out. It's dead calm. My drone definitely likes that. Now let's hop up high and head upstream a little bit. The retention area here it used to be above the dam. Uh, not a whole lot of water left. We can see all the way to the bottom. A couple of ducks or something floating down there. And there's not more than a couple of feet of water. There's Mr. Eagle. We will follow along a little bit, see where he's going. They must love this low water. It allows them to catch their fish easy. He's buzzing along up here, and there is another one. And almost looks like one in the water. I'm going to have to zoom in on that to be sure what that is. That must be a juvie and a adult. Sure looks like a white head on one down there, but that may just be a chunk of wood or a tire. Now we have three, and that's a sign for me to stay out of their way. Three against one. I'm not going to accept those odds. You know, we don't want to bother them, really, if they're hunting for lunch. We'll slowly head back. Sure looks different now that the water's down to normal. I'm hoping we get some rain that we can get some high water to wash some of this mud out. 
and get it down to the bedrock so we can see some pretty rapids just like we have up on the top of the picture here coming back to the dam and that about does that for today we'll be back tomorrow and we thank everybody again for watching and hope you have a wonderful day